What is up, heroes of Dominion? My name is Charlie. This is Hero War Sing Hero War Central. This is Hero War Central. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Hell. <laughs> Woo. What a morning. What a morning we have had. We're off to a great start. Off to a fantastic start today. Uh, first of all, a big shout out, a humongous shout out to the 20 or, or, or so of you that hung out with me this morning on that big grind, that big Destiny 2 grind. Did you guys enjoy that? I'd be interested to hear if you guys enjoyed that. Uh, if you'd like to if you'd like to hang out a little bit more. I do like, you know, playing other games, but I don't really like to make a habit of playing other games as far as, you know, what I have to do for my career, right? And uh, I, um, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I think that uh, I think that it's a it's it's a bad thing to turn your hobby into your job, but at the same time, if I'm just grinding stuff out, if I'm just grinding stuff out, it was kind of fun. For those of you that don't know, I played a little bit of uh, Destiny 2. I had uh, three really important tasks that I needed to knock out today before the weekly reset happened on Destiny 2, not on Hero Wars, on a different game completely, and uh, I uh, I wanted to hang out with my people. I was curious to see who was awake, who was around, uh, see who was going to come by. And I think we had a little bit of fun. Answered a couple of questions for some people that may not have normally been able to make my live stream because it was a different time of the day, right? So I think it was a lot of fun. I think it was a lot of fun. And maybe we'll do that a little bit more. Maybe we maybe we reserve that kind of stuff for the weekends. Yeah, that way we don't get too... Uh, today was kind of a unique situation because yesterday I got a lot of stuff done. Uh, a huge list of stuff accomplished for the week. And <clears throat> typically I, you know, need a couple hours every day to get the, the, the day stuff accomplished. But, you know, I did laundry last night. I did laundry like late last night, uh, did the dishes, I, you know, clean up the house yesterday before we went to bed. So all in all, it was a, uh, it was a pretty nice, it was a pretty nice, uh, relaxing morning, pretty nice, relaxing morning all around. And, uh, we might do it in the future. We might do it again. I don't know. It was fun watching Charlie get clapped by a modified toaster. Yeah. Yeah, that was fun. That was fun. A little bit of Destiny PvP action. It was it was a good time. It was a good time. Uber. <clears throat> Uber thinks that I'm trying to sign up for him for some reason. I keep getting these messages from Uber uh, asking me to, you know, give a ride today and you'll, you know, earn a credit. Never sign up for that. So um, the first question, the first thing that I want to uh, tackle today there's a question from earlier, uh, earlier live stream earlier this morning. Somebody asked me the most annoying item for me to level up. <clears throat> and chapter nine, mission one, right? The shore, right? This, this provides you with these three items right here. The desert blade fragment, the hand of glory fragment, and the Minotaur's head fragment. These items, uh, these items build the trine, right? The trine. They build the trine. And while that's not a difficult item to get, I think it's my least favorite item because everybody has one. And then, you know, you you build you build one, like for an item, and then you're like, oh crap, I've got two more right here. And then, you know, you're kind of going through and, and you know, you, you'll find them just like buried. Just like buried under items. And then you're like, crap, I gotta build two more of these? Are you kidding me? Ah, I really question the drop rates for items when you're farming. Seems like specific missions give certain items more frequently. Uh, Cody, we, we've done a lot of math on it. It just seems like it's not the case. But I think there's like a 15% flat chance across the board or a 20% chance. I can't remember what it was for an item to drop in a, in a, given, uh, in a given campaign. All right. I made a promise to myself to somebody else last night that I would make sure my phone stays charged. So we're going to do that. A try and cost about 2000 energy to make. Rosalind, it's not the most difficult item to make by far. Like if we're talking about Hero Wars, Facebook and web, obviously we have these terrible red items, right? And you know, some of them are easy to make, but some of them drop into other items, which drop into even further items. And those take months to build, right? Literal months worth of grinding. Same thing with orange plus four items, orange plus three items, all of that. But I think the trine, if I see a trine, that's the most frustrating item to me. Uh, obviously, you've never had to build Unity of Extremes. Who has those? Who has Unity of Extremes? Yeah, I've built I've built at least one for Kark. 
At least one. This is a frustrating looking item as well. For sure. So what's the what's the uh what's the most frustrating item? Is it Unity of Extremes? Figgle so? Who had, who else has some input on Hero Wars Mobile? Who, who what is the most frustrating item out of all of the items? What is it, guys? I'll end shop. Bye. Bye. Oh, don't have enough. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Book of Prophecies, okay. Agility heroes have them. Okay, okay. That's the problem with my Yasmin of Isle 3. Super long to get everything. Mm -hmm. It's just, I don't know. I don't know. Light of different star, light of distant stars on mobile. Sphere of power is super annoying. Okay, okay. Book of fate, book of prophecies is all of the books and, and all of the books. Alucard amulet for me right now, says D. Warman. Okay. Uh, Ark Jones says Vanquished Absolute. Avogadro 6023 says Unity of Extremes. Unity is pretty bad. There's an equivalent for Mages too. Okay, it took over three months to finish Unity for Kira, and then she requires another one. Okay, all right, all right. So Unity of Extremes and the Mage version of that, whatever that is. I don't know what that is. What's the place? Uh, are all items from the merchant linked to a hero, or are there some items in the merchant that are not? Sort of like resource red herrings. Uh, well, it, it rotates every day. So while some items, like if you take a look at, since we're still talking about items, you can take a look at this right here. Like, that's a bad example. Um, let's see. Here we go. Here we go. So the Brazier of Bloody Lotus, right? Blood Lotus, by the way, was my uh, original Halo 1 gamer tag. Blood Lotus. Because I thought Black Lotus was really cool from Magic the Gathering, the card game. And I was like, oh, like what, what's a good, what's a good first person shooter it's like Blood Lotus. Brazier of Bloody Lotus. Like this, this will go to some hero that I have. I just don't have any heroes that are leveled up to the point that needs this item yet. Does that make sense? I don't have a hero that needs the item yet. Whereas if I look at like this item right here, the Blade of the Immortals, you can see that I have Isaac that needs it. Uh, blue plate armor, Isaac needs it. But this Primarch's uh, Grasp, I don't currently have any any heroes that need it right now. Okay. <laughs> Mike. Rulers Globus. Okay, okay. Thanks for the info. Okay, you're welcome. Unity of Extremes requires multiple Alucard's amulets. So the Unity of Extremes, I guess, is the most difficult. It just seems like I see that trying so much and I want to bang my head against the wall. <laughs> good good call. Good conversation though. Good chat. Good chat. Alright, so let's take out not what they seem. Let's do some Guild Wars. And then we got to talk about a, uh, a big project that I have decided to go ahead and run with. Uh, let's uh, let's talk about it in just a second, though. So we need to we need to fight Lou Killers here. Lou Killers is boasting an Aurora, Celeste, Orion, Leon lineup with Nebula, very similar to my Mage lineup. And uh, uh, Lucilus is rocking a double healer. Isaac Astaroth. Okay. Lucilus and Lou Killers. Not what they seem. Not what they seem. We did not fight them last week, so I don't have a history for them. That's fine. That's fine. We don't need the history. Let's start with uh, Lou Killers here. So starting with the base lineup of <clears throat> Astaroth, Kark, Faceless, we're obviously going to be running Isaac. You can't go wrong with Isaac in this lineup. You just cannot. Look at all of that magic damage that's coming our way. Look at all of that magic damage. Now, uh, Leon is a problem. And obviously, we have the stuns from Orion. So I think we just run with the Sebastian here. I think we do double support. Uh, the Sebastian is going to help block out some of the uh, some of the charm effects. It's also going to block out the stun from the Aurora Shield Bash. It's also going to block out the stun from Orion. And it's also going to boost my damage output. Now... Only having the uh, the one really fast attack. Well, I don't have any fast attacking heroes. Let's try this lineup out. Let's try this lineup out. I've been working on a spreadsheet for Team Powers for better Violet drops on Chapter 8. Okay, why not Kai instead of Faceless? Uh, Kai would probably charge up the Aurora too fast. Nate. Kai could be a good choice here, but I think that Kai would charge up the enemy Aurora too fast. And I'm, and I'm trying to avoid that. Her Violet ability, you know? Who did I just copy? I just accidentally copied somebody. Oh, I just copied... Um... 
I just copied uh, um, Isaac. Ended up being just a non uh, a non issue for a fight altogether. <clears throat> so let's uh, let's go back into that fight and let's spend another half second here. This is an, this is a great example, and I don't I, I don't mean to completely downplay innate, but would Isaac would, but would charge Isaac faster? No. Uh, okay. Okay. I can see where you're coming from there. It would. I guess it would charge Isaac a little bit faster. So maybe. So I put faceless. I left faceless in there with the intention of getting more stuns. Right. I wanted to slow down Orion as much as I could. I had a silence with Isaac. I had Karks knock up in three uh, triple silence uh, stun, and then I had faceless's area of effect stun. So I thought that Kai would be charging up the enemy Aurora fast, but that's an, that's an interesting observation there. All your heroes got quite low. No, they didn't. No, no danger of dying at all. Dingle's up. No danger. No danger. Yeah, yeah. It was closer than I'd like to I'd like to admit there. Kai could have been a good choice. Kai could have worked. You would be fine as there is no Isaac. Yeah, 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 yeah. There is also the concern of charging up the enemy Leon faster too. But Aurora's violet ability proccing Isaac quicker could be a nice... Okay, all right. It'd be worth a try. Next week, Nate. Next week, if we fight not what they seem again, tell me to put in Kai instead. Hi, Charlie. It's me, Jackie Wacky from the YouTube stream. Okay. If you're having a party, where's Pat Fez? Well, we're going to start with Pat Fez's favorite hero in just a second, though. We're going to get to it. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. All right. So now in this instance, we definitely don't want to use Kai. The enemy is using Isaac. We don't want to charge him up that fast. Uh, we don't want to use Isaac, although, you know, you could consider using it against Celeste, but probably is not really needed. I think that Helios is going to be the better choice. Um, the Sebastian here probably isn't necessary. The Sebastian probably isn't necessary. Maybe we see this would be a good opportunity for uh, Arachne right here. This would be a good opportunity for Arachne. Maybe even a good opportunity, a gooder, a good opportunity for Jorgen. Maybe we just stick with Nebula. Completely take the Isaac out of the equation altogether. Completely take the Isaac out of the equation. This is going to be a non-issue Isaac right here. He's going to charge very slowly. Helios is going to counter the Yasmin. We have double healer though. Double healer. Maybe I switch Astaroth to Biscuit since nobody really is attacking the front line that quickly. Yeah, I think we do that. I think we use Biscuit to slow down the... the healing of that double healer tank situation. All right, let's try it. Let's try this. Let's try it. Cornelius a good option against Celeste? Definitely. Definitely. Definitely a good option against Celeste. I don't have a very high-level uh, Cordelius, though. I agree that team works. Okay. <clears throat> we got stuns. And we got silences. Okay, we might have an issue here. This Yasmin is going crazy. Okay. Can this Yasmin... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The Helios wasn't enough. Who... Who should I have used there? This, uh, this Yasmin is a, uh... It's a tough cookie here. Dang. Well, well, 
just bad luck. It's just bad luck. If if the enemy Yasmin had attacked anybody aside from Helios that first time through, we would have won there. Your faceless copied as Yaz and they seem to attack each other. <laughs> How did Helios die? Yeah, um, Yasmin, Yasmin killed the Helios. Yasmin killed the Helios. Bad timing. Really, really bad timing there. Let's watch that fight again. Really bad timing. He did a lot of, uh, or she did a lot of attacks while a sphere wasn't up. And um, usually in these fights, I probably should have used Jorgen or Kai. Although that would have charged up the enemy Isaac, but maybe it wouldn't have mattered as much. Yasmin always attacks Helios. Always. He always he always last attacks her. Uh, not not always. Hmm. Yeah, that, that long silence there really protected that Yasmin. The uh the long silence from Isaac. Hmm. What could we have done differently here? Allegedly, Amira counters Yasmin too. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, for seven seconds out of every, you know, 20 seconds or so, she counters her. But not that much. Probably could have gotten away with the pet biscuit. The team pet? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. There were some definite clutch heals to keep her alive, that's for sure. Good reminder to finish leveling Helios's Masquerade and Solar Skins. Yeah, we definitely need to work on Helios's skins for sure for sure let's uh let's go ahead and dump some let's go ahead and do that right now let's put some some health in there <clears throat> a little bit more health devil skin magic attack champion skin you know, you can't win them all, guys. You can't win them all. You can plan. But the thing about Yasmin is she's so... She's so random at times. You know? I could have I could have clipped her one time with Kark. Like, she dodged, I think, two straight Kark ults. I could have got her. It's just bad luck. Bad luck. Hit her with Dante and somehow she can't get out of out dodge him. Patch notes. So there was a there was a full patch on Destiny 2 today. Okay. Um Okay. So uh as we transition into the next thing that I kind of want to talk about in today's video. Uh good good fights though. Good fights though. Um Luce was it Luke Killer or is it the other guy? I don't know. Whatever it was. Good fights though. Really good fights. Join. No. Okay. Nope. 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 Here we go. <clears throat> All right. All right. So check this out. We're going to take this. Remember to vote for portals for ways way Facebook perfect today. Oh, yeah. That's right. That's right. Easier 8013. What? 8013. Not sure what you're referring to there. Okay, okay. So we are going to go ahead and run with this, um, this, uh, this situation here. Um, I do have some concerns about using this account, but I think we may stick to it. I think we may stick to it. I don't see. I don't know how much more power level this is going to get. Leveling up this account to, we probably should start a brand new account. We should probably start a brand new account. All right, so here's the plan. Here's the plan. Hero Wars mobile account. Uh, we're going to get every hero on the account to 30k power level. Every hero. Every hero, right? We're going to do this by... 
Not investing any soul stones into a hero beyond, I think, three stars. I think three stars, maybe even two stars. Artificially keeping the hero's power levels low. Artificially. Okay. Okay. We're going to start on the oldest server. Even Cleaver. Cleaver is going to be... I don't know what we're going to do with Cleaver. Uh, you do realize power is a poor metric? Yeah, I do. I do know. <laughs> I do know. I do know. It's not It's not going to be a perfect process. It's definitely not going to be. Uh, and what I'd like to do is every single hero, we're going to discuss what stats that hero needs. Okay. The things that that hero needs to focus on. So we're going to start with Judge. Uh, where's my Judge? Where's my Judge? There we go. So we're going to start with Judge. Okay, and we're going to talk about which skins to unlock first. We're going to talk about, you know, how high to level up different things. We're going to talk about which glyphs to invest in. Okay. Which artifacts are the most important. It's not going to be fun, and I'm not going to enjoy doing it, but I think it's going to be interesting. It'll be fun for you guys, but maybe not for me. That's about a year project. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. Uh, or it won't. Or it won't. We're going to talk about every single hero. And I think we're going to talk about every hero every day. During live streams. Okay, so a part of every live stream, I want to discuss one hero on Hero Wars Mobile. With the idea of getting an entire, an entire catalog of heroes up to the same-ish power level. We're going to do Kark very last. And I think we're going to do Judge and then we're going to do Maya. We're going to do Judge first and I think we're going to do Maya. Mm. That's going to take forever unless you get lucky with Cleaver. I'm not going to worry about Cleaver. I'm just not going to worry about Cleaver. If I had to do it, my baseline would be to level every hero in the same way. Up to Violet 1, 2 Glyphs up to 30, base skin level 20, etc. Finkelzo, if you want to reach out to me after the fact, if you want to help me create a nice little baseline for this, I would love to do that. I would love to do that. Now, it's not going to give you a nice, clean observation of in-game, but it will help us. It will help us test out new heroes with different team lineups. It'll help us test out you know, different factions as they get reworked and new heroes added and all of that. I like leaving Cleaver out because you can't choose to get him. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And eventually, we maybe we will get Cleaver, right? Maybe we will get Cleaver. We just... Um, the issue with having a high star rating is it, it artificially inflates your power level. So the idea is we get every hero to level 120. We max out all the skills. And then we max out the artifacts and skins and glyphs that are important to those, or not even max out, but get them to a certain point, right? And then, you know, and then from there, we can we can play around with it. We can play around with it. And then, if others are interested, this is a specifically hero-only situation. So I don't know that I'll ever actually be able to join a guild with this, which will potentially leave me out of uh, acquiring certain things. Like, for example, there are some skins that you can only acquire from the champion shop that may be important. Although I'm not sure off the top of my head which of these skins are necessary and which of them are not. Uh, we may have to pay somebody. Uh, we may have to join some guild in order to get some trophies. Uh, you know, they may have to uh, let us, you know, leech a little, bit of, a little bit of stuff there. But I'm not going to worry about doing the daily stuff every day. Things that let us get resources for leveling up heroes. So the daily quests, uh, we don't care about the Hydra. You know, we can upgrade a skin. Uh, we can defeat bosses in Outland. We can, you know, do expeditions every day. We can level up the Gift of the Elements. We could, I mean, we could do the Titanite in the dungeon because it awards dungeon coins to get, you know, Corvus, I guess. The Highwayman, sure. Spending energy, sure. Opening chest and tower, but things like the Hydra and Guild Wars and, you know, we'll participate in the arena and the Grand Arena up to a certain point. But what this will allow us to do is this will allow us to play with different team lineups 
in you know in our in our range it will be artificially equalized because you know i can't get past a certain point because my heroes are at a certain you know power level but i think it's an interesting idea and then maybe some of you guys would be uh, willing to jump along with me and you know i'm not saying that i'm going to stick it out to the very end but i think it's a good idea i think it could be interesting yeah but even this has a big caveat since some hero progress isn't linear very true, very true. It could definitely show off some imbalances of early on. But then again, you know, we see this a lot, Finkelzo, in the, uh, um, we see we see imbalances a lot with heroes as they grow up, right? In the very beginning, Galahad and Ginger, for example, are insanely strong. But as they get to higher levels, they kind of suck, right? I mean, they have their place, sure, but they, you know, they kind of start to die off in popularity for other heroes. That's a dope idea. It's like max testing, but at a lower level. Exactly. And it's a different perspective, right? A lot of people are going to be having this conversation about, you know, Amira sucks at high levels or how do you defeat Satori? At, you know, how do you defeat a maxed out Satori team? That's all well and good. But I, I'm unable to, I'm unable to have conversations about team lineups because, you know, because I don't want to show my main account because, you know, I don't want to, my, my guild mates are not interested in, and I don't want anybody to know where my account is. Like, I really don't want anybody to know where my main account is. And when we get a new hero, we can expand. Like, whenever a hero is reworked, we can focus on that hero for a day or two. Uh, whenever there is a new hero added, that would become the hero that we discussed that day. And, you know, we, we work together to get that hero up to the 30k or 35k or whatever. Do a guild and make us all be in there. See, I've tried guilds. And then eventually I kind of stopped playing those accounts. Like I, this account right here, you know, I started this account right here, I think to build the, I think I started this account to build the Daredevil, Astrid, Lucas, Dorian, Elmir idea because of Arcana Gaming. It was one of his cool ideas that he had. And then, you know, we built it, we had a guild for it. And then I just kind of stopped playing it because, you know, it was just, it was just frustrating to keep it up. I have all heroes at level 130 and maxed out still levels. Currently, Amira is the only one below 30k. Okay. Uh, but your star level, though, John Knox, your star level is higher, right? And this is this is on mobile, so it would be level 120, not 130. 14,000 in the dungeon. Richard, congratulations. Just me as your sound going in and out. Uh, I mean, I'm dancing all over the place. I've got a really crappy mi microphone. I've got a really crappy microphone. I need to upgrade my microphone on my webcam. What's your mobile Bob or main team power level on my mobile Bob or main team power level on mobile? Give or take, if you don't mind me asking. I don't even know. I actually have no idea what the power level is. Ultimate star. Yeah, exactly, John. So th that's the thing is like, if I don't, if I don't get every hero, if I don't get any hero past like two stars or three stars, I think, I think there are some heroes in the game that spawn in at, at three stars and, they, and you can't get them any lower. So maybe I get everybody to just three stars and that's it. Or I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. It's free. No, do the like button. You don't have to level all heroes to 35. If we get all in the guild with you, we could be doing it in no time. Oh, Monta, that's a good idea. If we get a, if we get enough people to, well, but then we'll run into issues where we're trying to, we're trying to test out. We're trying to test out like a, a blessed team with a, a Yasmin or a, a way of honor team with Yasmin, for example. Oh, create another account for you, min testing? Yeah, the min testing guild. Oh, I love it. The minimum testing idea. So then we can devote, you know. So, okay, so, and then beyond that, I kind of mentioned this in yesterday's live stream. We will set up a schedule, right? And then maybe we have people who know everything there is to know about that hero, you know, give me some ideas so that I'm not just being completely random. I went, I went to the server but couldn't find the vote. The, so the vote, Putnam, vote for what? Jail be an issue. Yeah, jet will be an issue. How am I going to get jet? I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Max Kark for Jetstarns. I could. I could. 
But still, I mean, I would love to be able to test my Kark Fafnir lineup. Getting Jet on mobile sucks. Maybe if you get Cleaver, Jet will be possible. Maybe that's what I got to do, Raging Turnip. Maybe I don't worry about getting Jet until I accidentally get Cleaver one day. Some heroes have no glyphs and sparks as the seasons need those for a quest and having a pool of misfits help. Okay. Pull Cleaver twice, get Jet, easy. Hmm. I don't know. So we're going to build a schedule. And I'm going to I'm gonna post it either on the website or on the uh, on the Discord. And we'll we'll kind of keep up from there. Oof. Life is so so short. Man, you guys need to have fun while you can. Crazy. A friend of mine is, uh, she, uh, she had a, um, she had a, uh, uh something removed from a, an organ. <laughs> she had a thing removed from a thing and, uh, um, she's having a bad reaction to the recovery meds. Cleave Daddy, who's that? <laughs> you get three star each hero every three months and never catch up as they add new heroes. Yeah, well, all three star heroes much faster than that. Like, I don't mind spending money on this account either. I don't mind at all. We'll buy, you know, we'll, we can buy bundles. Like, like we can buy this Helios bundle. Right? How many, how many soul stones do you need? It's 10 to summon at one star. Right? 10. And then 20 more to get to 2 star. And then 50 after that. So you only need 80 soul stones to get to 3 stars, right? Just 80? All the more reason to have fun in your profession. If you aren't, what's the point? Yep. I have one heroes account on mobile. I have too many. <laughs> Getting all heroes to ult was a goal of mine to buy out the shop of items and get jet. Yeah. 80. Okay. One question. If you have a magic damage team, how can you counter Isaac? Monta, you can't. Build a different team. Somebody made a post, somebody commented on one of my videos earlier that the reason why people are quitting is because it's impossible to beat dodge teams. And I was like, well, just, just level in the wrong heroes, my friend. <laughs> Sebastian, stop Isaac. Okay. 10 to summon one star, 30 for two, 80 for three. Yep. Just absolute star Maya and the other tower heroes, then use them. Yeah, but Trevor, I don't want to absolute star them. I, I'm trying to keep them low. Buy the artifact deals, if any, you're going to want the first artifacts at three stars for the 100% activation. Oh, good point. Good point. Okay. All right. All right. All right. So three star heroes. We don't talk about Cleaver and Jet until we loot Cleaver and then we start buying Jet. Wait, but then I can't buy any. I just can't buy Jet Soul Stones. Crap. How am I going to get Jet Soul Stones? Do I have to... Will I have to absolute star one hero that I'm never going to use? Huh. Wait for new jet skin. New jet skin with the event. Yeah. Never used... No, Heidi's good, Trevor. Heidi's really good. Promote your faceless. Promote my faceless. Looks like I can promote him. Yep. Absolute star peppy. That would get you cleppy. Peppy. I don't know. Obviously, we got some issues we got to iron out here. Absolute Star Krista. RPG Holic, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. I don't know. 
obviously we got some we got some thinking about to do. So we'll start with Judge, maybe on like Monday. We'll start with Judge like on Monday, and then we'll kind of go from there. Absolutely, Ishmael, since it doesn't seem like you use him. Well, Jiv, I, that's the thing though, is I want to be able to try everybody out. I want everybody to be on equal footing. Since more than one account is doing this, we each pick a different hero to Absolute Star. Uh, we No, because then we would need... No, no, it's not going to work. Absolute Aurora, because 2F mission. What about Phobos? If he attacks higher, he might be able to paralyze Isaac long enough. Uh, Toons, that could work. It just depends on who else they have on their team. That could be a nice strategy. Yeah. The three times Aurora mission each day. I mean, yeah, it's not an issue of, of you know, who's... It's not an issue of who who is going to be able to get there. It's it's the issue that I don't want to absolute star any hero. How many soul stones for each level of evolution? It's it's um, it's uh, it's 10, 30, 80, 100, 150, and then 300. I think. I think it's a 600. It's 630 total. Not sure how you'll complete all the missions. The heroes will be weak. Well, that's not the point. I don't want to complete the missions. Rod's thrills. I, I'm I'm building it just for hero testing. That's it. If he became hero of the month, you will have him. Mm. Well, Jet would never do that, though. Can you buy a test account from Hero Wars? Can I buy? No. Um. No, we've we've actually we've actually tried this quite a bit. We and honestly, this would. What what would be the hilarious thing is I would start this and I would get like a month into it, and then they would introduce max testing, <laughs> and that would that would change everything. That I wouldn't even need to do it. Oh man! If they ever introduce max testing on mobile, though, I I would do so much more mobile mobile videos. I don't know. I don't know. All right. Tower of Fantasy. Well, again, Richard, thank you so much. Thank you so much for the kind words. What's the likelihood of that happening? That's why I'm doing this, D-Warman. It's something new and different and kind of fun, right? New and different and kind of fun. If they want money, Hero Wars will give you one. Test I've offered. I've offered. How uh, how much would it cost me? The issue is is all their test servers are, are in-house, and I would need access to their servers. I don't understand why. Like, they gave us access to the, to the Legends Brawl early by having a completely separate... Uh, a completely separate game. Like the Legends Draft Early Access was a completely separate game that we downloaded from the App Store. And that was testing, right? That was for testing purposes only. Why couldn't we have access to that and just, and they give us, you know, and they give us a billion emeralds and then we can just go and, you know, level up all the heroes. All right, uh, nothing else is really happening in the world of Hero Wars today. Uh, no leaks on any any of the official channels. No leaks from Load Runner. Nothing from the influencer page. There's no really posts on Facebook anywhere. We're gonna call it a day. We're gonna call it a day right here, and we're gonna start. Uh, we're gonna start next week with this test. Maybe even tomorrow. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we start the count tomorrow and, and we just kind of go from there. We just see how things go. I'll let everybody know what, what server I'm going to be on and it's going to be... I'll, I'll, it, it'll be my official server going forward. <laughs> but live stream is going to be tomorrow at 12 p.m. Central Time. Uh, I do have a meeting with um, the bank tomorrow morning. that should be over in plenty of time, but if for whatever reason it's not... I'll let you all know a plenty of time if we're going to be uh, canceling the live stream or not. It shouldn't have, shouldn't be an issue. The, me the meeting is at nine, live stream is at twelve. So, but if something does come up, we will uh, we'll definitely let you all know. I'm gonna go and uh, I'm gonna take Remy for a walk. She's been cooped up for too long, and it's starting to get a little bit warmer outside. So I'm gonna go do that. Hope everybody has a great rest of their Wednesday. Please be uh, warm and well fed. Go go hug and kiss your mom. Life is very short, guys. Very very short. Very short. I love you all. Good luck in Dominion.